my channel. So today we are going to do an unboxing of my recent Beautylish haul and my Mega Drop BoxyCharm haul as well. I was originally going to film these in two separate videos, but I didn't get around to it. So I'm just going to do them both at the same time. I've actually already opened and used some of the products from here, so I'll just let y'all know about that as I go. And um, yeah, if that's some, oh, roll up my sleeves so we can do some swatches. So if that's something that interests you, please consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It takes two seconds to do and means the world to me. And um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I picked up from Beautylish is this mirror by Ricky Cutie. And this is what it looks like. Right there. I saw this in, um, I believe it was like the second Glam Bag X. I don't remember who curated that one. But it was one of the choice items. But by the time I got to make my choice, it was too late. So, I did not get to choose it. And I really wanted one. And um, so, here it is. It's rechargeable. It has the light. I don't want to like... Here we go. It has the lights on it. There's my makeup brushes right there. It has this nice little holder that you can hold it. You can turn it any way you want um, to use it. And it also goes... You can put it back in there. It's very lightweight. It's about the size of a cell phone. Um, the lights are really good. Like I said, it's really, really lightweight, cheap plastic. Um, it says that it's shatterproof, but I don't really think. I, I, I've read the reviews. I used it three or four times. I mean, to put on your makeup, it's a good mirror. It, it, it gets the job done. I like the lights. Um, it can be a little bit blinding. Okay, I'm back. I kid you not, that took me a good five minutes to get that piece to go back in there. <laughs> okay. So, it's really very, very lightweight feeling. Um, if you can hear it kind of rattling. I'll make y'all dizzy. <coughs> Excuse me. The lights are good. The mirror is, I mean, it's clear and you can see through it. Not Okay, it's not... I don't know how to explain that. It's a good mirror. You can see through it. It's a good mirror. It's kind of dirty right now. But for the 60, 50, somewhere between 50 to 60 dollars I spent on it, I would not recommend it. It does come with this little sleeve to protect it in your purse. And it's a bit of a pain to get on. But it does fit snugly in there. Like I said, it has the box that it comes with. Two layers. Charger is in here. And there was a little card that was there. Okay, so hurry, I'm back. I tell y'all what. I had the, um, um, back in February. I didn't cough the whole time. Like, I was sick for, I don't know, like a week and a half. I didn't cough at all. I got bronchitis from my husband, like, the very next week. And every year, I get bronchitis around, well, it's usually sometime between the beginning of December and the end of February. And because I can't take steroids, um, like prednisone and things like that, it just stays with me. And it takes me forever to get past the cough. So, if I have to pause it awkwardly or if I cough on screen, I apologize. But trust me, I'm fine. It just takes me forever to get over it. So, that is the holder. Like I said, it came with a little card right here. Um, this was, the sleeve was folded up in there too. It's cutely packaged. I'll go back in there. It's cutely packaged and the mirror is, it's just not worth, I mean, for 20, if it was 25 bucks, 30 bucks even, I would say it's a great deal. For somewhere between 50 to 60, for what you're getting, it's not. Now, the Ricky cutie, the Ricky mirrors, or whatever they're called, um, I hear a lot of great up through my Beautylish order. So, first of all, I got this cute Natasha Denona Valentine's Day exclusive. 
it was $25. And it's just like the minis of hers, except for this one comes with a brush, which is pretty neat. It's a little brush. I haven't even used it yet, but there it is. I believe, yeah, right there. And then here is the palette. And I haven't worn it yet, but I have done swatches when I first got it. It is the Mini Crush Palette. And the colors are Daisy, Lotus, K.O.I., I'm not sure what that is, Soul, and Clariat. And here we go. They're beautiful colors. And I will do some swatches for y'all. I like the five pen palettes because you can swatch them all in one hand. That's the neutral color, so it's not very dark. And then <laughs> the thumb. There we go. My swatches are not exactly the best, but you get the gist of it. But anyhow, so I picked that up, and with the brush, it was a great deal. Love it. Love Natasha Denona. She's my favorite brand. I mean, she's my favorite eyeshadow brand, hands down. Next, I picked up the Glam Face Palette in the light. There you go. I already had the dark, which um, if y'all... I've been on my channel for very long. Y'all know that I unboxed it a couple of months ago. The creams are right here. The cream highlighter and the cream blush. And then the shades. And the shades are like labeled um, for suggested locations. And let's see. The highlighter is called Star Glow. It's got a little protective sleeve on there. And yep, yeah, there it is. That's the light one. And I have the dark one as well. If y'all wanted to see them side by side. I know this is not new, but it's new to me. So, you know. Y'all wanted to see them side by side. To kind of get a gist of them. There they are. Oh, okay, so the highlighter is Star Glow in both of them. You can tell which one I've used the most. But it's different. Um, the shades are different. Let me show you. This one on the darker palette looks a lot darker, but they're both called Star Glow. All right, and the blushes kind of look, they kind of look very similar on the shades as well. Alrighty, so that, and then the other item, the last item that I picked up in this Beautylish haul is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And I can't see if I can open it. Maybe this other side. There we go. This is the first larger it's not the largest, but this is like the $65 size palette of Natasha Denona's that I've ever owned. And here, let me find a better way to show those colors. Okay, right there. I wore this to church last week, so I have worn this so far. This, and it's got the, to change it out, they've got the holes in there if you've never owned one of these palettes, which I hadn't. Um, this is the first of the bigger palettes that I've got of Natasha Denona's. I have some of the minis, and then I have some of the the five pan, larger five pans, like what we got in BoxyCharm. I picked up a few of those in Pop Up. But yep, that was everything on my Beautylish haul. So I chose this. This is the uh, Mini Mix Charm Your Cheeks palette from Ofra. I use this today. Actually, it's what I have on my cheeks right now. I have these two shades mixed. And that is the Candy Apple and Pink Satin. I'll put... This was my, um, my choice item. I want to say last month, maybe. But I didn't get it. Like, it wasn't in my box. So, I went ahead and picked that up on Pop-Up. And then... Not Pop-Up. It's Mega Drop Shop. I get those two confused then. 
And then I picked up two of the Real Her lipstick bullet lip lipsticks right there. And um, this one, the Never Give Up, is the one that I picked up. And I believe that it is the one that I got from the Opinionated Horsewoman's giveaway. Where's Oh, it's right here. Yeah. So, I will be saving this one for a future giveaway since she sent it to me. It's funny because I had ordered that and then she sent me the surprise giveaway. But that is a shade right there. And so, I will put this one aside for a future giveaway because I already have one now. And then the other shade that I got is I Define Beauty Myself. I just tore the box, but it's all right because I'm not going to keep it in the box. And that's right here. And this is a shade on that. It's a very pinky shade. I love the pinky neutrals. They're my favorite. We'll go ahead and put that in my holder. Put that back up there so I'll knock it over. Okay. And then I also picked up the original makeup eraser, Erase All. Cute, isn't that cute? Looks like a little suitcase. And when you open it up, it has little makeup erasers. There's one for every day of the week, I believe. And they're about the size of your palm. They're not very big, but they feel just like the makeup eraser. There's a purple, a pink, orange, yellow, black, blue, and red. I am very excited to have these. I love the makeup eraser, but I only have... I have one makeup eraser, and then I have one PMD brand, and I'm all, you know, one's always dirty. And so I've got one in the wash and one that I'm using, and so now I'll have the seven-day miniatures of them, and I'm excited. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, this is part of what I'm wearing today. I got the ABH, a ABH Norvina Collection. This is like the mini pro pigment palette for the volume two. And these are the shades. I'm actually wearing this green on my eyes today. And I paired it when I did this eye look with my Norvina ABH volume two palette. Where I'm wearing this green, this green, and then this one. And then I did this yellow in my crease. And, of course, that shimmer. So, played with those today. That's what I'm wearing. I didn't get to wear makeup on St. Patty's Day because I had to work. And so, today's Saturday, and I thought, well, today I'll wear green. So, that's that. And then the last two items I picked up out of the Mega Drop Shop is this little Busy Art bronzer. Because I don't have a bronzer from Busy Art. Super cute. Opens like this. And there is your bronzer. Haven't used it yet. It's a little bit warm for me, but I, I know I can make it work. And then the Pretty Vulgar Lovebirds Red Lipstick, which is way out of my comfort zone. It shades 158 and 159, which the 159 is a clear. It's way out of my comfort zone. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. Not right now because I already have lipstick on. But this is a duo right there. Aren't they so cute? I still got the swatches on my hand. Sorry. Very pretty. And I'll go ahead and swatch this for you. The very true red. And then the clear gloss right there so yeah I'm excited to try those out um I can't promise that I'll leave the house with the red lipstick on but I'm gonna give it a try so that's all that I picked up on the mega drop shop and in my beautylish order I hope that you enjoyed and uh please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel like I said it means the world to me it takes two seconds to do and I hope that you'll have a great day. Stay, you know, stay warm, stay safe, stay blessed. 
and I will be talking to y'all real soon. Bye-bye.